<clears throat> Shalom, Israel. It's your brother, J.D. Nijah. Back with a message of edification and exhortation for the children of Israel, the Yasharala, princes of the power, the one-third elect, and the 144,000 prophets and men who will rule and reign in order and righteousness in the coming kingdom of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Before I get started, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rikakwadash, our Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit that gives us this wisdom, knowledge, ability to push out these biblical truths in these perilous times that we live in. So I didn't have a message, but I was looking through the, the news, the news. And uh, <clears throat> I saw this <clears throat> this page here with Sleepy Joe and the climate change. Climate change. So, being I'm a wordsmith, I um I noticed right away because people are convinced that climate has one meaning because they've been talking about climate change and um, global warming and and these weather terms for so long that we gotta we have to look deeper into the word climate it's <coughs> lucky brother so, climate is a word that is related to weather, but um, when you speak of climate and weather, you're speaking about a place where um, the weather has a certain climate. And that's why so many people come here to California, and that's why living in Huntington Beach is pretty pretty soft and easy because the climate here is one of the best in the world it um, never gets too hot I mean once in a while it gets pretty hot but I mean what six days out of the year is miserable in Huntington because of heat and then it never gets too cold you can pretty much go outside with a sweatshirt and pants and your shoes and socks in the winter time unless it's raining then you need a a rain jacket but even when it's raining it's not very cold so the climate um, I looked it up it's a it's weather in a area zone region or place so when they talk about climate they're talking about um, the weather in a certain area the climate is um, place related but then the other um, definition of climate is um, in regards to public opinion or um, the thoughts of the people in a in a particular region the climate of um, political thought in California is of course mostly Democrat. I don't like to use this as an analogy because um, <laughs> having public opinion about these devil's um, system is <laughs> silly in itself, but um, the analogy I'm using is that um, the, the climate of public opinion in California is very liberal, very um, Democrat, uh, as far as um, 
what is that? Politics. <laughs> I forget the word because it just doesn't make sense. Politics. I could go into that word too, but um, <laughs> it means you have uh, many bugs. <laughs> Pol politics. You have many. <laughs> there's a lot of bugs, ticks. A lot of a lot of twitching going on. You, it, it can change in a minute. But anyway, um, so it, the public opinion when it comes to climate change climate is an atmosphere it's a mood it's a temper um, what is what is the climate uh, the political or what is the um, public opinion climate in um, in Mexico um, you could say that the climate is um, fear of of government and fear of being hungry. So the climate there is fearful. You know. So when you talk about public opinion, um, you could it, it goes into um, how you feel, your spirit, your essence, and your attitude. It this is this is what I'm trying to say right here is that um, when they say climate change they're not talking specifically about the weather they're talking about how can we change the atmosphere how can we change their mood how can we change um, people's temperament um, the way they feel can we change their spirit can we can can we can we change the climate can we change the spirit that they have, their essence, um, their attitude? So when it says climate change, you can understand if you know the meaning of the word climate. I'm going to turn it around now. I'm hoping that this comes out on the, um, the title of the video because I, I, I like that shot right there, climate change. I'll, I'm not sure how long you have to... Um, <laughs> what part of the video that they capture the um the shot for the um what what do you call it the front page of your video whatever the page yeah the page shot so i, went, I was hoping i could get that on my page shot for my video because i know my my videos are usually just a picture of me in a half cocked <laughs> look so i'm trying to get a better um at least get a better front page <laughs> but anyhow I'm going to turn it around now because I'm tired of holding it at climate change hopefully that will come out on the um, page okay here we go <laughs> oh, yeah. shalom shalom Israel alright so um it. So I opened. I opened to uh, Galatians. It was funny as heck. Cause I'm like, what? <laughs> what scripture? I was gonna try and think of one and pull one up, but I can't. I can't think of one that relates to um. the climate of the people's thought processes you know I guess you could look at um, the climate when Moses went up on the mountain the climate of the people the um, their atmosphere their mood their temper was um, where is he did he is he leaving us here to rot um, what are we gonna do so they start partying so that's that's one place where I can think that um their temper, their attitude, their spirit had given up on on Moses and Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, basically Yahweh Power at that time. But um, their attitude, their temper, had turned against Moses. And what what the the theme was? The theme was let's um, get away from these Egyptians because they're they're putting us in slavery 
and go do our own thing and um, look we have a higher power helping us do this because look at the miracle he killed he killed him in the Red Sea and let us escape so that should have been their their climate the climate of the camp should have been um, a spiritual essence a, a truth towards Moses and Aaron that said we wait patiently for Moses to come down but there, the climate had changed because Moses had left the camp wow this is actually a pretty good analogy so the climate out here is um, fear of this um, this man-made um, problem, this man-made peril. And the climate is of, um, well, it's not of the most high, put it that way. It's a lot like the climate of the camp at the bottom of the mountain when Moses left. Um, they, they made that calf, they made that golden calf because they needed some comfort. And this, uh, this potion is like the golden calf. And people are trusting on something that's not going to actually make them well and healthy. Their essence and their attitude, their, their climate, the climate of their opinion, public opinion, is off. So I pulled up, I pulled up the end of Galatians and it's, if you, I'll try and explain it. You might, some of you might get it right off the bat. I, I went, wow, that's, that's pretty crazy that he, he opened me right to this, this passage that speaks of this climate of what your attitude is, what your spirit is, what you feel, your mood. And uh, it's Galatians 6, verse 11. It's crucified to the world. It says, You see how large a letter I have written unto you with mine own hand. So, um, obviously Paul was trying to uh, let them know that there's things that needed to be addressed so that they would stay in the right atmosphere. They would stay in the right mood and the right, have the right feel of, in their spirit. Verse 12, as many as desire to make a fair show in the flesh, they constrain you to be circumcised only lest they should suffer persecution for the cross of Christ. So, um, some people think that, what he's saying is some people would think that if I circumcise myself, um, I'll be able to show people I am I'm of the right climate. I'm a, I have the right feel. I'm I'm a, I have the right attitude. So you could look at it as um, the potion is that same thing, but on the left hand side, it's like see see see. I got I got the potion and um I'm good. I'm good. Little do they know, that's the, we'll see. Uh, verse 13, for neither they themselves who are circumcised keep the law, but desire to have you circumcised that they may glory in your flesh. Yeah, he had me just open to this. That's what I'm, I mean, I, I, I'm not going to glory in my own self. I'm glorying in, in him. It's amazing. I trusted him and he did it. And that's what we have to do. We have to have our trust and spirit in the prophets and in the word of the Lord. We can't be letting our climate change just because um, public opinion is saying you need to be circumcised. <sighs> you understand what I'm saying? I'm going to read some more. I I was just amazed at the... At 
those three or four verses were like, darn. But Yahweh, um, Yahweh forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Yahweh Hamashiach, by whom the world is crucified unto me and unto the world. For in Yahweh Hamashiach neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. So what he's saying is, um, are you going to be the creature that they want you to be? Are, are, are they going to change your climate? Or are you going to have your climate changed by, are you going to have your spirit, essence, attitude, and temper with the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, or are you going to let them change your climate? And this is serious business, climate change. They want to change this world from a climate of freedom, um, brotherly love, um, what do they call it, compassion. Uh, interdependence. Um, I'm trying to think of that word where um, where people uh, it's like communism where you um, you work together but that's that's um, that's the essence of, of the Lord's spirit, his climate. His climate is of um, you love him, you love your brother, you love your wife, you love your children. Children love their mother, their father, they love Jehoshai. I mean, it's an interconnectedness, right? And so what they're trying to do is break us all apart into separate singular entities by... Um, controlling us with their control structure. If you don't do this, you can't get anything. And each person is going to decide what they're willing to do to get something, which isn't which isn't fair because um, the ones on top have, have, have created this climate, this climate of um, individualism and what will happen is they're going to put everybody in their own. You know, I'm going to go into this real quick. The meta, Facebook has turned to meta, right? And if you look into that, what they're going to try to do, this is this is our goal. You can believe me or not. They're going to try and digitally download each person into their own separate world. It's going to be a um, virtual. You're going to be in your own virtual world. And they're going to trick you into that by thinking that, you can make your world any way you want and you will be able to. The whole thing is it'll be fake. The climate will be you will be spiritually and literally stolen from any freedom by agreeing to be put in this cage of your own making. And as many as walk according to this, this rule, peace be on them and mercy and upon the Israel of Yahweh power. For henceforth let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of Lord Yahweh Shai. Brethren, the grace of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach be with your spirit. Amen. So climate, one of the one of the um what do they call it? Similar words. One of the similar words were spirit, essence, attitude, atmosphere, mood. The climate is spirit. What's the climate of the public opinion? Where's your spirit? Where's your essence? What's the climate? What's, what's your attitude? How do you feel? Um, if you're going to let 
if you're going to let the flesh tell you how you should feel and what your essence is and what your mood and temper is, if they can control that, you're, you're trusting that they, that they are going to change your climate for the better. I'm not going to go on and on because I don't really have a whole lot more to say about that. If you don't, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, I'm hoping you do. I hope it's edifying. Um, don't let them change your climate. That's their goal climate change this is your brother JD Nijah love you Israel all power honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rikakwadash Shalom to the next one Kwam Yasharallah